Hi everyone! Welcome to our latest Throwback Thursday video. Today, we're talking about a man whose name will probably be familiar to everyone who lives in Muhlenberg County now. Today's video is about Felix Martin Jr. Mr. Martin is the namesake and posthumous benefactor of both Felix Martin Hall and the Felix E. Martin Jr. Foundation. Felix Eves Martin Jr. was born on March 17, 1927 to Felix E. Martin, Eves Martin Sr. and Ima Jean Sisk Martin of Greenville, Kentucky. The Martin family at that time was already a prominent family in Muhlenberg County. The family had been here since the early 1800s and Felix Sr.'s father, Rufus Martin, was a successful businessman. He owned and operated a tobacco warehouse and R. Martin Dry Goods Company in Greenville in the latter half of the 19th century. Both the tobacco warehouse and the dry goods building are now gone. The dry goods building, which was on East Main Cross Street in downtown Greenville across from the courthouse, burned in the 1940s, and the tobacco warehouse on Walnut Street in Greenville burned just a few years ago. When Felix was born, his family lived in a white frame house just off East Main Cross Street, near what is now Morgan Memorial Park and the Summer House Gazebo. The family built a home on North Main Street soon after, but the family continued to own the home and rent it out as apartments for many years. Young Felix Martin Jr. attended school in Greenville through 11th grade. He then attended the Macaulay School in Chattanooga, Tennessee, graduating in 1945. After graduation, Felix joined the U.S. Maritime Service. He served on the SS Thomas Say during the end of World War II, where he was a warrant officer and the sole medical officer on the ship. After World War II ended, Mr. Martin began college, but his education was again interrupted when he was drafted in 1950 to serve in the Korean War. You can find more information about Mr. Martin's military service, as well as that of other Muhlenberg Countyans, in our video about the military history collection at Bissell Cottage. After Mr. Martin was discharged from the Army in 1952, he returned to his studies. He graduated from the University of Kentucky in 1954. Following his graduation, Felix worked as a plant engineer and then in public relations for Southern Bell Telephone Company. He inherited more than $250,000 when Felix Sr. died in 1960, and a few years later, he began a long career as a private investor in the stock market. He inherited more than $8 million more when his mother died in 2001, and his estate continued to grow, so by the time of his own death, it was worth more than $60 million. Mr. Martin died 13 years ago on November 15, 2007, when he was 80 years old. When Mr. Martin died, he left instructions that his fortune was to be divided among several institutions that had been important to him during his life, including his church, Greenville United Methodist, and the schools he had attended. His belongings were donated or sold, and some of those are now in our collection at Thistle Cottage. But the bulk of his estate, according to Mr. Martin's wishes, was to be used for a charitable foundation to benefit his home county. The Felix E. Martin Jr. Foundation was established in 2008. Okay, well, I'm here with Alyssa Manning. She is the president of the Felix Martin Foundation, and she's gonna tell you a little more about what the foundation does and, and just about the foundation. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. I'm gonna take off my mask for a minute to talk. Um, when Mr. Martin passed away in 2007, you've probably already heard that he put in his will a very generous gift for Muhlenberg County. Um, he actually made several, several gifts in his will. The first was to the University of Kentucky, where he was a graduate, and he endowed a scholarship there for students from Muhlenberg County to be able to attend. He also made an endowed scholarship at the Macaulay School, which is a private boarding school in Chattanooga, Tennessee, also for Muhlenberg County boys to be able to attend that school. That's where he graduated from. He spent just his senior year there. And he made another gift to the Greenville United Methodist Church as well. But the bulk of, the, of his estate, over $50 million, was left in his will, he said, to create a charitable trust for the civic, cultural, and educational benefit of the citizens of Muhlenberg County. And that's just what happened. 
The executor of his will worked with the Community Foundation of Louisville to set up a $50 million um, endowment, a foundation, the Felix E. Martin Jr. Foundation, which now gives uh, financial support exclusively for the benefit of the citizens of Muhlenberg County. Uh, I don't think that Mr. Martin probably could have realized the impact of this gift. He knew it would be big, he knew it would make a difference in lives, but 10 years later, um, the foundation has really touched so many lives in Muhlenberg County. Of that initial $50 million gift, in about just over 10 years, um, he has actually given away $30 million to the county. The really exciting thing about that gift is in, in his wisdom, in his will, he asked for it to be set up in an endowment. So we've given away $30 million of the money from Muhlenberg County and still have nearly $60 million left. So this gift will continue to give. I always like to say that not only is it benefiting us today, but hopefully our grandchildren will be having the exact same conversation years later to figure out what they want to do with the money. Um, when the foundation was created, we did work with the citizens of Muhlenberg County and still do to identify what the biggest needs were and how we could make the greatest impact. Uh, when the foundation started, we really identified a couple of key areas. One was in the area of, of economic development which in the big picture really means creating opportunities for everyone, making sure that, that people um, have the opportunity to get good jobs, hopefully promoting uh, the general health of the community. Uh, part of that was really also around education. I would say education is probably the most that we have done. There were educational initiatives around um, workforce development, children's development, early childhood, post-secondary success, uh, the list goes on and on. And then most of the gifts that we've given have been in the area of community development, which really is just making Muhlenberg a great place to live. And when I say making it a great place to live, it already is, so we're hoping to make it even better, that it will be a community of choice, with things like Felix Martin Hall supporting the arts, things like the Greater Muhlenberg Parks and Recreation System creating something for kids to do. Uh, the list really does go on and on, and we're thrilled that it's going to continue to go on and on uh, into the far future. We give away about $2.2 million a year, um, and in addition have also made some loans with Mr. Martin's gift so we can support other, other projects in addition to the $2.2 million. So we all want to say thank you to Mr. Martin every day and hope, as I said, that our grandchildren will be having the same interview years, years from now. Thanks, Amy. Thank you so much, Alyssa. And thanks to Mr. Martin. I know that we have gotten some grants from the foundation to serve our patrons. And we certainly hope that we will continue to do that. Thank you for thank being you here. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. Have a great week. Bye.